Welcome back! In the previous video we have created this pickup and drop logic for our objects. Now I would like to be able to shoot this, uh, to fire this gun or to eat this burger. So we want to implement this interaction logic for our items. So let's get going. Now code wise, in the previous video we have created this cumbersome if else statement that takes care of our logic but if you want to modify something or add another item that can be placed in the hand or placed or picked up just to carry it around, we need to modify this code, which is not a great solution in terms of maintainability. So right now I want to show you how to create this use logic using a more object oriented mindset. So currently in our project, we have those three objects. Now a weapon and a food item or a burger are interactable as well as are usable while the chest or more basically an item in our system that we can carry and we want to place somewhere else is just interactable uh, and i would not want to use this so what we can do is to abstract this whole concept of usable item and create some sort of an abstraction there a component that is i usable and our gun and our burger will implement this uh, abstraction while our chest will not now of course a chest may be a pretty bad example here because we want to open a chest but in this case this is some simply an object that we want to carry but it does not have any purpose in the game and this is how we can think about a more object oriented solution okay so let's see how to create it in unity so let's right click create a new c sharp script i'm going to call it i usable since this will be an interface, so an abstraction of the usable concept, let's open it up in Visual Studio. Okay. Now, since this will be an interface, this will not have uh, methods. It will not be uh, implementing mono behavior. And instead of class keyword, we are going to have interface keyword. Great. Now, interfaces are used to create inheritance tree and they can only define properties and methods. So for us, we are going to have a void a use method. This will be an abstract method. We are going to get an input game object actor and this will be it. And we are going to have a unity event on use that will have a get. This will be a property right click here, quick action and say using unity engine dot events. Now, if you are not sure what is going on here, I do strongly recommend that you check out my object oriented programming for unity developers video course. The link will be in the description. Basically, what we create here is a definition that a usable item will always have a use method on it. Inside our player, instead of having to create this complex multi-layer if check, uh, checking different types of objects and based on this creating some sort of logic uh, depending on the type of the object, all we need to do in the use is first check if we have an item in our hand. So if in hand item is not null, if we have something following our player, we're going to check I usable usable object equals in hand item get component I usable. This is our abstraction. And if usable is not null, we are going to call usable dot use and we are going to pass this actor. So this game object. So our player basically as an actor so if we want to access something from our player we can get it but basically this is it we not need to check those types as we had here in this interact method instead we rely on the abstraction that if an object is usable it will have this interface on it meaning that we can interact with this or rather we can use this that's it for our player. We are never going to modify this logic inside our player. All we need to do now is to create subclasses so we can use those food and weapon scripts that we already have to create this, those usable items. So let's save this script. Let's go back to Unity. Great. And generally what we could do is open this food script and add here I usable interface. So now this food script implements this i usable interface right click quick action and implement interface and you're going to have this public unity event on use uh, parameter for now we are not going to be interested in this but we have this use method so what we can do here is delete the update and start methods and for example above use we can create a private load health boost 
let's set it to be one for example or maybe let's set it to be int and when we call the use method what we can do is create some sort of a code that actor dot get component player if this is a player we're going to call add health method passing the health boost so let's right click here quick actions and generate this method and we are going to next destroy this game object and this is the uh, how we use our food item let's go to add health go to the definition and we can simply debug dot log and health boosted by let's add a dollar sign in front of this and now we can in uh, those uh, braces pass the health boost okay and this would be it so now let's save all the scripts so file and save all and let's go back to unity great now since our health item already had this this food script we do not need to change anything we can simply press play okay and let's see if in our console if we pick this up and now let's press mouse button left mouse button we should see in the bottom left corner of unity health boosted by one let me pause this and you should see here that it's food and health boosted by one and now we do not have this food item as a child of our pickup slot it was destroyed and now we know that our i usable item works great now let's open our weapon script so let me pause the game and open the weapon script because we are going to do basically the same as we add i usable interface and i'm going to paste here the uh, script or the code that we are going to use we need to use unity events so right click quick action and using unity engine.events and this will be very useful right now because right now we all we need to do here is call on use question mark dot invoke so we are going to check if something is listening to this event now if you do not know how events works i have a video about it i will link it in the description of this video let me save this and let's go back to unity okay let's select our pickable weapon and we have this weapon script here if we expand this object we are going to see that we have this muzzle flash particle which is simply particle of the muzzle flash as well as we have a the trigger animation script on the pistol now this simply accesses the animator and sets trigger with the specific name uh, so that we can play an animation and inside this pistol game object we have this interaction sfx which has a simple uh, gunshot sound that we can play when we want to uh, shoot a gun now this has no shooting logic but this has this feedback that we can apply to simulate the shooting now i'm going to go back to our pickable weapon and on use in this event i'm going to use this plus icon to add a listener first of all i can add this interaction sfx and all i need to do is select no function select audio source and we are going to add play we're going to add another one of those listeners using this plus icon select muzzle flash particles select no function particles uh, render particle system sorry and we are going to select play and we can add one last thing which is our animation trigger drag the pistol we should find on it trigger animation and we should have this set trigger now this will trigger this shoot trigger name and it has the animator here that you can check out if you want you can open it up and this is the animation here so I'm going to press play now and we should now see that we can use this gun as well. So let me select this gun. I'm going to pick it up and if I press mouse button, as you can see we have our gun shooting. If we drop it, if we pick up the burger, we can press mouse button to eat this burger and we can pick up the gun again and start shooting and this is how it works. Currently in our implementation we have one more bug if we press E to pick up a gun and press E again we are going to lose a gun and this will be uh, somewhere around our player because basically what we have done is we are picking up another time this object and it has uh, the other uh, the transform set differently so what we want to do is basically stop the game go to our scripts go to our player and when we have the interact method what we want to check is if this hit.color is not null and we want to check if in hand item is null only then we want to pick up object again now if we go back to unity okay 
we are going to be able to pick up a gun and if we press E again nothing happens and we cannot really pick up another item. We can drop this one and only then we can pick up another item like this chest and this burger. If we eat this burger now in hand item is null so we can again pick up a gun and pretend that we are shooting using this feedback for our player. Okay great. Now in, I will have another video for the series to show you how to refactor the player interact method into a more component based approach or more object oriented solution so that we can encapsulate this method or the, the logic behind those in those food item and weapon item and maybe even create more granular components out of those. Just to finish this off we are going to go to our food uh, script and we have this on use throwing an exception instead i want to have here a uh, field colon serialized field this will expose this uh, property inside the inspector so we can assign to it we're going to have a public int event on use getter and a private setter so that we can set it through the inspector we of course need to call this so inside our use method we are going to call on use question mark dot invoke so if there is a method assigned to this event we are going to call this method and this will call our crunching sound so let's save this and let's go back to unity great right. i will select our pickable health object and we should have this food script we can add here a listener and we can find at the top the play sound on use script we are going to drag it here select function play sound on use play clip and this is a simple script that will take in an uh, audio clip this will take in the volume and when we call play clip method we are going to audio source of play clip at point passing clip transform that point and the volume since basically we are destroying this food object immediately so we do not have time to play an audio source using the uh, audio source on this object we need to create one and this method is very useful to create it let's save the script let's go back to unity okay and if i now press play and pick up this food we should hear the crunch sound great and we can pick up the gun and we have the standard feedback okay i hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial so far if you did there is a thanks button at the bottom of this video you can press it and donate to the channel if you want to support uh, sunny valley studio you can also leave a like leave a comment subscribe i would really appreciate that okay i will see you in the next video about refactoring the uh, interaction method from our player script to create a more object-oriented solution in our code. See you in the next video.